Today on number six with cheese, four years ago we did the Nacho Crunch double stack taco. Can I pretend like it's a cell phone? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, there is nacho cheese in there. Mmm. And it's back now for us to try in 2020. So today, Taco Bell, one dollar. Love this trend. Let's go. Double stack nacho crunch one dollar tacos from Taco Bell acquired jump cut. All right, guys, that's camera A. This is camera B. Court Wagner, second angle. All right, so we've got the soft tortilla on the outside connected with some cheese, it looks like, to the hard tortilla on the inside. Then you've got cheese, you've got lettuce, there's some crunchy red things in there, there's some meat in there. Uh, I don't know the rest, but... I think just I nacho cheese is the only other thing, so nice. two forms of cheese. All right, Corey, double stack taco, this is the nacho crunch, one dollar. Is it worth it? Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. That was only uh, taco shell. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Not that, but I got zero meat. It's amazing that I was the only one in there. They made it fresh. He like saw my order, you know, did on the board, sees it, starts making it. Mine is somehow not hot or cold. It's mm. kind of somewhere just like around the 50% mark. Yeah, it makes sense because there's hot meat and then cold lettuce, yeah. which I guess would bring a not hot, not cold. There it is. Boom, science, just figured it out. Guess what, the Sherlock Holmes of food is here. Mm -hmm. That's what we need him. Sherlock sees through everything and everyone in seconds. What's incredible though is how spectacularly ignorant he is about some things. Mmm, where the meat is, it's good. Yeah, I mean, get those meat bites. Mm-hmm. I like those red crunchy strips too. There's just so much crunch going on in this with those really? added into the hard shell. I don't think I can literally tell any difference because it's the entire thing is encapsulated in hard shell. Every bite has hard shell. So there's just hard shell with a little bit more hard shell. Mm -hmm. I can almost guarantee you if I was handed both these things, one without the Red Krispies, one with, mm -hmm. I would not be able to tell the difference, but I do think it looks pretty. Watch You're this. You're supposed to have a flavor. Watch this top part, no Red Crunchies. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it still crunches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's science. This is Sherlock Holmes, dude. I put some fire sauce on. Dope. Mm. Still so good. Not much to this. No. But it tastes good mm -hmm. and it's cheap. Literally ate that in less than a minute. Done. Four years ago, I looked it up and we did these. They launched three flavors at the same time. And we did Taco Week. Taco Week! Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and did them all. I thought that was a good idea, like launching three different flavors of them. Then you're getting people to spend $3, Ooh. as opposed to just $1. But that was still good. They had a cool habanero one when I was looking back at the flavors and I was like, ooh. On the tail end of that bite, getting a little spice. I'm getting punched a little bit with the spice. Kind of wanted some cool habanero today, but that's fine. Still good. Still good. You're really setting yourself up for failure. Looking at all these videos and thinking of the ones you'd rather have. Yeah, I know. Like well, I going like, into this, I'm going into this, I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna get, this is what they have out. I'm gonna get it. I'm excited for that. Imagine if I just went through and watched like uh, our velvet taco episode and was like, ooh, I wish I was eating these other more delicious tacos. This is the this self. This is really gonna suck. This is the self imploding <laughs> self deprecation I put on myself mm. to start a day. Yeah. Yeah, man. Don't I, do this. I always try to tell you, do less research. Yeah. Research is dumb. It gives you all these preconceived notions and <laughs> these wants. And, but you know what? Can't stop Sean from doing research. Every no. day he goes in there, comes out with some I got knowledge it. that's going to hurt him. My screen time goes, get off your phone. That's what my screen Does time it? says every day. <laughs> get off the phone. Man, they're getting rude. <laughs> I know, they're not even like, they're not even like, hey, you're was kind of off this week. They were like, dude, seriously, find a hobby. Wow. We know it's a pandemic, but literally do anything else. Who hacked your phone? I think people are just texting you. I don't think that the iPhones are <laughs> it's saying just that. My, it's just my parents. Uh, yeah, I think they're like, bro, get off your phone, call us, we love you, where have you been? I, I'm pretty sure iPhones don't say that. <laughs> you have a degree, go do something. No, nope, just sitting here doing this, being lame. You're so lame. <laughs> All right, uh, before we go ahead and rate that $1 item from Taco Bell, let's do a shout out. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. Not only do you guys help us so much on patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese by donating to the show, tonight we got a live stream. So everybody who's over the $10. Yep, yep. 
tier on there is going to get a link on Patreon tonight, and we're going to go ahead and go live, hang out separate, right? We're going to be a little uh, quarantined. Yeah, I think so. Quarantined hangout, so we're all going to be doing this digitally, dude. So 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific, tonight on Patreon. Shout out to everybody that's over the $10 tier, but also right now, let's go ahead and just name two names. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I almost lived here. Really? Yeah, when I nice? one of the coolest layouts of a building. Really? Super weird. It was like one of those lofted ones. Oh, like high like ceiling, you mean? You, yeah, like 25 foot ceiling, oh, wow. and the bedroom was over the rest of the apartment. Oh, I love those. It was like, it looked like out of a TV show those in like are, the 90s. Yeah. Like somebody would like, like a Nickelodeon show. That's <laughs> like, how these kids have these dope bedrooms? The stairs going up to the bedroom were like this thin metal. Mm. There's no way Lionel's going up and down that. I'm gonna have to carry uh, him up to the bedroom. Why are you doing that? Because I got him here, and I'm going. <laughs> What are you doing with that hand? You I'm, ride grab, a... I'm grabbing the next step and I've Bro, never climbed a ladder before. <laughs> you need to. Did you start improvising again or something? I know. And that You're nobody less no, likable right nobody now. Nobody in the nobody in the uh, audience would also know what I'm doing. You looked like you were riding a horse. I did, like, holding like a satchel. Yeah. What am I doing? Oh man. I really need help. Patreon shout out number one goes to Mr. Sean Griffin. <laughs> Great name, by the way, Sean. Yeah, and he spells it the right way. Yeah, I know. None of that stupid H nonsense. Yeah, get out of here. You know? Yeah. Actually, I now that I think about it, I think I, that makes the actual noise. What are you, Cian? Dude, every uh, Uber I've ever gotten in, and every time I've gotten an order to go, Cian? I'm like, bro. Every time? <sighs> yeah, that's true. Like 60% of the time. <laughs> When, so, when it happens enough, uh, in my mind, I go, it's all the time, everybody's dumb, yeah. I'm great. That's how the brain works, that's to, hilarious. I need to go to therapy again. Um, <laughs> Sean did the $5 amount, that's awesome, we really appreciate the support, uh, yeah, seriously helps a ton. And I think that's like uh, 5 bucks, and you're getting like at minimum 25 videos a month. We appreciate it, it's a heck of a heck of a deal you got, you got there, buddy boy. Yeah. And Patreon shout out number two, Andre Smith. <laughs> Also in that $5 crew, so everything Corey said about Sean Griffin is also true about Andre Smith. Yep. Great name, yep. really helps us, yep. good tier, yep. good value. Thank you. All right, they're $1. I think, if it's to start this year, I think I said, like I looked up a PR press release and it said, Taco Bell's coming out with like 21 new That's or like crazy. recurring $1 items. We're about seven months into the year, so have we gotten a little over half? I don't and know. If we I haven't done that research. If we haven't, Correct. there has been a huge pandemic going on. You get it? <laughs> we get, get it, it, Taco get Bell. It. It's okay. <laughs> but okay, so $1 is that price worth. Like you're gonna compare it to other dollar items, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I would imagine. That's what the rating is today. Comparing it to dollars. Not comparing it to a $3 Taco Bell thing or crazy. a three dollar chicken sandwich from mcdonald's no one dollar items in the fast you know? food world uh out of five I, you know I, we've probably done it before but i just really love using it out of five sacajuias sacajuas mm -hmm. how do you say that coin hello coin collectors out there welcome back to the big d coins channel so this video is going to be about the sacajuia dollar you, what is, you know you I, said it right the first time sacajuia out of five sacajuias how many sacajuias do you give the double stack Nacho Crunch you one dollar. Are, are you saying Sagajawea? You're a moron. I think it was great uh, for a dollar. Mm -hmm. I just like the crunch wraps because I like having a, like crunch in my tacos, but I don't like the crunch, the hard shells. Yeah. Because the thing is, is when you bite, sometimes they'll break and stuff will like tumble out. Mm -hmm. So it's like you get the crunch, but the uh, tortilla keeps it all kind of together and right. they use in cheese to keep it together awesome yeah it's super delicious even though it's like not a ton of meat mm -hmm. oh well it's only a dollar can't really be word and moan and it's like not the most crazy delicious flavor like oh well once again it's only one dollar can't really be word and moan no. so dude for a dollar menu item i think that was really good i'm gonna give that a 3.75 it's a great score it's a very good score i think that kind of is like the poor man's cheesy gordita crunch yeah it's like oh. not a gordita the soft the gordita like shell Upgrade, a little bit right? different, right? This is like yeah. just a soft taco. Not as much stuff in it. Not yep. that delicious uh, creamy sauce in it. Yeah. This is like if this is the diners, drive-ins, and dives would be like the cheesy yep. gordita crunch. Yep. We're the double stack taco. Exactly. And I good. think I think exactly. number six with cheese is great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I'm not, it does what it needs. Uh, yeah. You know we're filling a niche. You don't, have to, a you don't have to pay a cable subscription to be able to watch it. No. You know no, you no. get it a little cheaper. Exactly. Most of the people get it for free. Right. 4.0. That's respectable. Look at that. I was the whole time I was like, you know what? I'll give that like four to eighty percent if you're a percentage person. For a buck. I don't know. I mean, come on, guys. A dollar. So many dollar menu items. We say this all the time. The value meant they changed the name of it at restaurants because they're like, well, it's not a dollar anymore. It's $1.69. Taco Bell goes, no, dude, it's all a dollar. Yeah, I love that. I really I like love that. that. I like that. And I really like that. Well, I like Taco Bell's only, not even trying to dupe you. They're using all the same ingredients mm -hmm. to make different things. They're very upfront about that. Don't be a dunce. Yeah, dude. Don't be a dunce. We won't be comfortable until you are. Northern Weathermakers HVAC.
It's a fun little tagline. Ours is more like, <laughs> ours is similar except we're uncomfortable because we eat so much. Yeah, yeah. We're not comfortable until you're uncomfortable we're, watching these videos. We're uncomfortable so you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That on. We get fat and eat all the gross things so you can just have only the good things that we tell you about. Spot on. That's our mantra. That's our uh, creed. Yeah, Mission statement. We're uncomfortable so you don't have to be. <laughs> Guys, we'll be back here tomorrow. Brewing Review episode Friday in Corey's living room, eating, drinking, doing what we do. Thank you to the 30,000 plus of you that subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you tomorrow. You know how it is. Peace. Bye.